How's everyone doing today? I hope good. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe, please. It helps out a lot. Comment and share if you have any questions or anything you'd like to say. Um, today I have something different to review. Um, it's not sneakers. If you can't tell by the title already today I am reviewing the Salvatore Ferragamo extra large some people call it the power buckle but it's actually a Giancini buckle extra large um, the colors are sunset and narrow but this is what your box should look like. Don't mind the uh, little rip right there. It should be silver. It says uh, Salvatore Ferragamo, Florence, Italy. And then on the back, on the back right here, it says It says, uh, it's hard to see, made in Italy. That's what your box should look like. Now, if you've uh, never seen a real one, this is the actual color of the writing and the box. I've, I've actually owned fake ones before and the box is actually like a blood red with gold. Um, saying the same thing Salvatore Ferragamo Florence Italy on it and those are not real <clears throat> just what the inside of your box should look like now let's get into um, it comes with another card I don't have it I did buy this belt used so um, the person that I bought it from uh, didn't have the other card but this is the receipt this is what the front of your receipt should look like and it should be an envelope style like this this is what your receipt should say that's what your receipt should say it should have the style code PID, I don't know what that is. And your basically your serial number. If you look up this number right here. Actually, no, if you look up this style code right here, if you put this into your search bar, the style code right here, it will bring you straight to this belt. So the fake ones, they could possibly have this. And just be trying to, I mean, you could have the real belt like I do, get a fake one, and put this card in it, and probably trick some people, you know what I mean? Here's the back. So it should be an envelope type style. just hold on one second I need to put my tongue ring in um, I don't have my tongue ring in and it feels really weird here we go all right this is what the inside of your box should look like and really pay attention to the color and then it has the Made in Italy on the back, um, right here, it's blended in. Really pay attention to the color when you're looking to purchase this box. There's also a black box out there with gold writing. And those belts can get pretty real looking. Um, but yeah, those black boxes are real. And they do have the gold writing. So when someone has a black box and if they don't have a receipt... Like, I just really wouldn't buy it from them because uh, 
There's a lot of fake ones of those going around. And also pay attention to the price. Like if someone wants 40 bucks for a $500 belt, like that just kind of should just let you know that nobody wants to let go of a $500 belt that bad to where they're uh, letting it go for 40 bucks. I mean, you could easily get $100 for a belt like that, especially even after you wore it and beat it up. But I was lucky to actually get mine in like mint condition, and I'll show you. Start off with the buckle. This is what your buckle should look like. Now, this buckle, this belt, I should say, was purchased in uh, 2017. That's when this came out. And this person wore this belt all through high school. And he took really, really good care of it. And I'm going to give you a little backstory on it. Like, he didn't even think the belt was real. When I saw this advertised on uh, Macari, everybody knows what Macari is. He just had reversible belt. And then had a picture of, like, the belt, the uh, box, and the um, receipt. And if he would have put Salvatore Ferragamo reversible belt, then I wouldn't even have been able to purchase this belt because he had it up for a while. And they had it in Salvatore. Actually, no, it wasn't even in Salvatore Ferragamo belts because if you look up, they have things listed in designers. That's how you can find stuff. That's how Macari works. It's not just like sneakers and then it's just sneakers. It's Nike, Jordans, Patrick Ewing's. Like that's how they categorize stuff. So that's why it's important that you put what the name of what you're selling is so that somebody can find it easily. So he didn't have this belt in Salvatore Ferragamo. He just, it was just in belts. So me being the smart person I am, I looked through belts and all that stuff because I was looking for this belt. I was looking specifically for this belt and I've had the fake version of this belt and after a while I just couldn't rock it. Like I couldn't rock it and not feel some kind of way about it. So um, yeah I, I actually ended up selling that more than I than I paid for it. I sold it for 60 bucks so and I paid 40 for it but um yeah, anyway, so I always wanted the real version of this belt, but, um, yeah, and then when I got it, I paid, like, $95 for this belt, but anyway, I had him send me a bunch of pictures, and he didn't know if the belt was real, so the whole time he took this care of a belt that he bought in 2017, I mean, look, there's not a scratch, there's not a neck out of this belt and I've seen these belts like severely severely damaged like if you don't take care of this belt the way that you should seeing how he someone he, he got it as a gift so someone paid $500 for this belt without including tax and he had no idea like he just I don't know who he got it from I didn't ask but he didn't trust the person that they bought him a authentic belt but all right, so let's get back into the belt. Um, this is what your back should look like. It should have two screws in it. If it does not have these two screws, it is 100% fake. And it also has a screw right here. And right here, holding this pin in. This pin can be replaced. So... Um, yeah, and this emblem will come off. I don't know why you can take the emblem off, but it can come off. That's what these two screws are for. This one's actually attached. I've seen ones to where this isn't attached and you can take them off individually. Each one will come off, but that's more of the ones that are actually attached to this because you can use this belt this buckle actually with different um with different belts that they sell like there's some that are actually attached that you can shorten it with this um pin on here so but for this buckle alone i looked it up on ebay and it was 250 the cheapest that i've seen 
So this buckle is 250 and the um, belt itself is 250. That's how you get the 495. But yes, this is, and then it has the pin, and this pin should have layers on it. The fake ones do not. It is just all one pin. They are not, they don't have grooves in them, if you can see it. See the grooves in it? To where each layer of the belt will sit. So it doesn't come off. Because let me tell you, when you have this belt on, it does not pop off. It does not pop out. And also, it should have weight to it. Like, I mean... Like weight, weight. Like for when, if you were to look at, like when you look at this, you wouldn't think that this is heavy, but this thing's got some weight. The fake ones do not. They are just stainless steel, or I mean, this is gunmetal. If you look it up, would use my style code, the style code that I showed you. Look this belt up. It'll tell you in the description that this belt is made out of this. I keep saying belt. This buckle is made out of gunmetal, so it should have some weight to it. And that should be a dead giveaway if you ever did meet up with someone or buy one from a non-authorized retailer that um, it should be heavy, like really heavy. So that's the buckle. Now this belt is the Sunset Narrow, like I said earlier. So this is, this is your uh, Sunset side and it's reversible. And this is your narrow side. Like I said, I wanted this belt. I wanted this belt bad, like really bad. And I and, I, and just it it was not like it was not a coincidence. It was I just me wanting this belt, and I've always wanted this belt, a real one, to where I actually wore a fake one. I mean, the color was more of a blood red than the one I had, and it was reversible and black. But I always wanted this belt. And this belt is sold out on every single website. You cannot find this belt. Actually, I found one person that had a size 32 on uh, Poshmark. And she wanted like 250 for it. Like I said, I paid like 90 bucks for this belt shipped. I mean, I had to wait 27 days because it was sitting in a post office two cities over from where the belt was shipped from. But... We're all experiencing delays with shipping right now. But on the side that the buckle um, goes on to, and I'll show you the, the belt done and uh, how you're supposed to wear it, but it should look like this. Your buckle should overlay like that. And you'll have that curve. Now on the fake ones, it is just a straight line like this. That's an instant giveaway. So if anybody that knows about belts, this is all you're going to see right here is this. When the bu the buckle, the belt is uh, all done together when you're wearing it. This is all you're going to see. And everything else goes underneath here and underneath so you don't see it. So if you see somebody with this belt and it is not curved like this, it is fake. If it's just a square, just over a square, it's, yeah, it's fake. So that's how that goes inside this pin. And then you'll have this exposed on the outside with every belt, even with the fake one. So that's how I felt some kind of way wearing the fake one when uh, I had it. So I really had no problem selling it and I needed the money, but... Even for the fact, and, and during our conversations when I bought the belt, he was like, pretty much purchase at your own risk. And I had him send me as many pictures as I could, and I was like, I'd be dumb not to buy this belt. Like, I would just, this is what you want. So for 90 bucks, it was worth the risk to me if it was fake. And it's not. It's 100% not. Now let's get into the other side. Now, if you know anything about designer belts, you would know, you will know that these four holes probably look weird to you. So, yes, it does come with three holes. You can see them better on this side because this side's kind of stretched, but you can see them on this side. Um, I punched the fourth hole into it. This belt is a 36-38, and I needed like a 35. 
So um, I didn't know that because these fit true to size. So I didn't know that. So you figure 38, well, 36, 37, 38. That's how you get the three holes. So fake belts will have five holes. That's an instant giveaway. You could have a real buckle with a fake belt and a fake, well, strap. You could have a real strap with the, a um, real buckle with the fake strap and the fa a real strap with the fake buckle. So you really got to look at both of them. But I didn't, I just, I didn't have that opportunity. But for 90 bucks from what I saw, I made an executive decision that the belt was real. And I was absolutely right. And I was pleased and happy as I don't know what it was like God said seriously I just felt like I got this belt for a steal but yeah it should only have three holes and then after the three holes you have your um let me see you have your centimeters 105 centimeters it says then you will have Salvatore Ferragamo made in Italy and then that SP um, let me see, it says SP23701 backslash 34. And if you look that code up, it should instantly bring you to that belt. Now, the fake ones do have the style code, but um, I've never looked it up to see what it brings you to, but I don't think it's right. So, after your three holes, you should have your style code. I'm making this video very extensive because that's a $500 purchase. And if you're buying this, like if I was to sell this belt, I would sell this belt for like $250. I would definitely want $250 for this belt. And that's a lot for something that just holds your damn pants up when most of you guys are wearing your pants hanging off your ass anyway. So why you even have a belt on is beyond me. But I actually needed this belt to fit me. So that's why I punched... The hole in there, and if you don't believe me, here's the um, leather hole punchers that I went and bought. Bought these from um, Hobby Lobby, and yeah, punched my own hole in it. So, but if you bring this belt, if you bring an authentic, because um, it says it on the card. If you bring this belt to Salvatore Ferragamo and it is authentic, they will size it for you. Now, they, they'll either punch more holes in it for you or they'll cut it and size it if you don't want to put that extra hole in it. So it says, due to its particular fastening mechanism, this belt can be shortened as needed. So what they mean is you can literally bring this belt to a store a Salvatore Ferragamo store and they will size it for you if it's authentic whether you bought it from them or not so that's pretty cool just for you to know all right so we have the holes now this is all one piece calf skin you see that grain right there you see that grain that that's that's in it now fake ones will not have that grain it's on both sides that, to me, made me feel 100% secure in my purchase when I bought this belt, when I saw that grain, because I've had the fake one, so I could compare. And the fake one does not have this grain. They come in all kinds of colors, colors that probably Salvatore Ferragamo doesn't even make. But, yeah, they're out there. And they were really big, like, three years ago. These belts were really big, but... um. Celebrities still are wearing them. I just watched a video the other day with Little Dirk, Little Dirk, and uh, he had he had a Salvatore Ferragamo belt on. It's like one of his newest uh, videos out. So they are wearing them. They are still um still fashionable. But back to the belt. Um, this should be all one piece. It's dyed on both sides. But this should all be one piece. You see how it's got like that like ramp from the middle to the outside a little bit? Yes, this is all one piece. There should be no stitching. There should be no stitching. 
or nothing. This is all one piece. And that grain, that grain should definitely be there. They cannot give you 100% calf skin and it not have that grain. It's all in the, the, dry, the way it dries and just, yeah, it's like, if you know about real leather, then you know. Um, just like some sneakers, some Jordans, you'll see different kinds of leather. But this is genuine leather and calf skin is two different things. Genuine leather is genuine leather. If you look up the description and the and the uh, the stuff like that, I'm, I'm sorry, it's my dog back there. Um, don't know the word I'm looking for, but yeah, there, there's a difference between calf skin and uh, genuine leather. This is calf skin, and somebody I was I was selling it at one point because I figured if I could get two fifty for this belt and I only paid 90 for it, then why not? But somebody was like literally getting me to tell them that the belt was real and said that he was gonna buy one from somebody and they had the receipt and stuff. But he also wanted this belt and my, um, my Royal 13s and it just seemed really awkward. It was really late at night and he wanted me to come to his house and I just backed out. I was like, nah, I think I'm good, bro. You're asking way too many questions to see if the stuff is real. And then all of a sudden, oh, I see you have 13s for sale. So, oh, let me grab those too. No, you're not grabbing anything for me because I'm not coming to meet you. So, cut off all contact with him. But yeah, I think the dude definitely was gonna set me up and rob me. All right, so let's um, put the belt on. I don't have, um, I have sweatpants on today. So um, obviously I can't show you exactly how the belt is gonna look, but I can put it on for you. But yeah, you see how the only part, see. see how the only part exposed on the belt is this part right 